This particular video is for Okula Orandi Igbo, a man of integrity. This young man opened a WhatsApp group and had many people there to help Igbo people. But there is something that happened in that group. One woman called Madame Flo from UK dropped a message in the group, and that group is a group that, that, always, that receives more than thousands of messages every day. And drop a message there that if you are interested in COS, which is certificate of sponsorship in UK, that if you give him a give her a private message, which some of them did did that. After everything, they paid money to the woman, and it happened that they could not. They gave them fake COS. Now this same issue happened last year, and people start calling Okulora, saying that Okulora know what happened on it because of the, some action that he took when that issue arose. Now, when this thing happened last year, Okuraba was able to remove those people that are victims of the, the scammers. He removed them from the group and created another group for them. For me, I thought that they have ended that saga since last year. This a few days ago, very dark black man raised that issue again. And said that he's giving Okuraba 24 hours to return the money to those people or he's going to write a submit petition against him. Yesterday, they tried to have a conference, a, a, a live broadcast, and calling that Florence, full of from UK, for her to say what really happened. But before I go into the test, let me tell you what you people are going to do, Lord. Because I know that many people have already known about this thing. Many people have already known about this particular case. What the woman is trying to explain there is not clear to my own hearing. What this woman is explaining is not clear to my own hearing. She said that he do business with a Zimbabwe man and the person scammed her. Very simple. The man is still in the UK. And even if the woman is outside the UK, there is a number she used to have this do business with the man. What she could do if she's really fully remorseful of what going what is going on, because she cannot tell me that that she don't know how you can get that man. Because by the time you go and report this matter to police station and carry the phone number and give to police, UK police, even in Dubai here, to get somebody to track you, even if you are SIP toilet, they will track you and come and arrest you. Dubai police, if they want to arrest somebody under 10 minutes, even if they have been looking for you, they have been telling you, inviting you to come, and they want to get you today, today, they will get you. Because everything about your number, your number is connected with your Emirati, Emirates ID, which is your visa. Everything about you is connected with your visa. You understand? So for them to track you and come and pick you up is very, very easy. I believe that UK government can also do the same thing. So if the woman don't know what happened to that money, because the way I'm saying things, the way I'm saying things, that woman, the money is in bubble woman, Collected from her is very poor to compare to what she collects from other people, from those people. And this is the main reason why she don't want to f bring out that man. What she collected from what she what she gave the man is very poor to compare to what she charged those people. Because if this woman wants to provide those mo that money or provide that man, what she will do. Assuming that she went to the man's house and the man wasn't there, what she will do is just to go and look for police. Go to police station, report the case to them, carry the man phone number, give to UK police. UK police will track the man. Track the man because I believe that UK is a developed country. I believe that if they want to get the man, even the same day they will get it for the fact that the man is still in that UK. You understand? But she could not do it. Now, they are spoiling Okulora's name. Very dark black man, what I have expected from him is to contact Okulora before publishing this issue online. Before, you, Because we are talking about somebody's reputation. Now, my major problem in all this thing is that our own evil people, that are evil bloggers, they are one of those people also spoiling Okulora's name. Okulora has been serving souls. They have been serving so just because of this small mistake that is not even his fault. People are now talking rubbish against him. Thank God for the woman that said the truth on the live broadcast. That when he when he did business with those people, Okulora wasn't aware of it. 
until when they scam those people. That is when Okulora know about you. And for you saying that, that, that against Okulora, removing these people in that group, when they do business with the man, the woman, no, nobody informed Okulora. Okulora is not aware of it. The woman, Madam Flood, is not aware, of, did not inform Okulora. Until everything happened, they scammed them. They started calling Okulora, started calling Okulora. Now, nobody knows about Madam Flood. Nobody knows her. Who we know is Okulora and Dibu. So, Okulora, this matter is very, very simple. If you see the video, share the video, give Okulora. If you people want to know, get the particular the man in question, just let the woman go to the police station or you use because of it travel to UK. Go and make reports in police station. Then let the woman provide that person's number. Let me know if UK police cannot track that man and fish him out wherever he hides. So this is very simple because when I listen to the live broker, what the woman is saying is not clear to my own hearing. It's not really clear. And I can tell you the main reason why this woman never wants to prov provide that man is because because the woman has money on her own, but she don't want to pay them back. Just as in that video, is like she said that she's paying them small, small. You understand? It, the main reason why this woman don't want to provide that man is because what the man charged him, charged her as her business partner, is very small, but she charged good amount of money from her own evil people, from her own people, because of COS. This is the only thing I can say about this. Whatever that you think, I know some of my friends might not know about this particular video. They try to share it out. Let's see people's reaction. But this is what they can do if they want to even get that man in question. For some of you brothers, because he's getting like Oklahoma's name, please let us take it easy with him. Normally, we know that he has health issue. Let's take it easy with him. If you lose somebody like Okurora, we lose we, we lose a lot of in fact, we lose something that he, that is greater than a president. To be honest with you, because I know many people, I know many people that will be alive today, tomorrow, or next tomorrow, or throughout this year, or next year, because of Okulora.